I am an artist who uses curating and uh, writing as mediums through which to think about the world, um, legislate ideas and manipulate objects and, and so on. I cannot talk about uh, what I do without um, taking you back to uh, Black Star Lines and that community in Ghana. So Black Star Lines is the contemporary art institution that is responsible for uh, instigating these ideas, uh, particularly in relation to our uh, art education, uh, which came mainly through the missionary and the colonial structures. Some of the curatorial uh, strategies or models that we came up with to work on these exhibitions. So the presence of the curator is important. So when you collectivize this, uh, you, it works better than having uh, one, one person do that. The intergenerational conversations go for telling the story of art beyond just one uh, epoch or one uh, generation. Undergraduate students are shown with alumni, faculty, guest artists, um, international artists, and all of this is to preserve. It's not to hierarchize their participation, but to see how the works work together. Accessibility programming, we don't only really think of people who can uh, see. We, we try to open up the scope of works to different modes of participation. The exhibition as experimental site is important because if art is, it doesn't have a fixed definition or fixed um, expression, that means that the exhibition can also uh, transform. Things can happen, things can change within that life that is staged. All of these things are taken into consideration um, in the archipelago uh, direction. In 2017, we included the participation of the unknown artist, who was the symbolic representation of the surplus population of exhibition cultures. The key is not to take what we are doing for granted and to also use the exhibition, not as a closed system, but to see how um, we could also consider the counter argument to the arguments that we have raised in the show itself. So that becomes, uh, all of these things are playing out in the shows that we curate or organize. And this gives you an idea. This is one floor. The large scale shows happen at the Museum of Science and Technology in Accra, and it's on three levels. So they, uh, this is on the first floor. I think Tracy Thompson will continue from here. Shall you please help me give Tracy a round of applause as she comes up? Talking about the theme of universality and multiplicity, it has become a very important aspect um, of my work. Coming to such a community which um, is unprejudicial towards any medium, of course, gave room for many explorations and it, it also expands the scope, whether it's um, looking at synthetic or biological forms, whether it's looking at um, things that are on Earth or on space, or it's, it's a very wide universe we live in, and the fact that art can respond to things that are immanent within um, our contemporary experience. And this is what has shaped my work for a long time. And the work you see at the left um, from 2017 at Orderly Disorderly Exhibition is one of the works I explored using plastic material. So what you see here is produced from styrofoam, styrofoam, the white uh, packaging that comes with um, industrial produced gadgets. They are sort of the, the packages that hold or protect these gadgets and exploring these materials through various processes. And what's, um, uh, the, what inspires this kind of practice is how uh, materials in themselves, how they can 
be mutated, how they can change, how they can go through certain life um, forms. And those kind of transitions of material became, um, yeah, became my interest. Thank you very much. <laughs>